It's 1933 in Germany. Adolf Hitler is in power. He had just been appointed Chancellor of Germany. As you walk through the streets, you stop and see a poster. On it, there is a Jew. And on the poster says, Der Eschri M. Kree. Who is to blame for the war? He controls every aspect of your life. From what movies you could watch, to what music you could listen to. You, like millions of other Germans, are being fed with Nazi propaganda and Jewish hate beliefs. One of the biggest uses of propaganda that Hitler took advantage of was using it to target a very particular race, the Jews. Hitler managed to brainwash Germany and his propaganda to let the German people turn on their own. His propaganda was everywhere, from radios, to movies, to music they heard, and the newspapers they read. He even had loudspeakers placed in large cities so that the people could hear Hitler's voice wherever they went. He became a good speaker. He had the gestures, the voice. They wanted to hear him. The speeches stood up. He found out the people wanted slogans that they could relate to. The loss of the war and the Treaty of Versailles had become Germany's national shame. He gave Germany someone to blame for these problems. He blamed the Jews. Hitler claimed that the Jews had backstabbed Germany in World War I. He claimed that they had betrayed them. The German people became angry at the Jews, and they burned their shops, homes, synagogues, and schools. That night was known as Kristallnacht, or the Night of Broken Glass. If a propaganda message is aligned to popular perceptions, then it has already gained the attention of the people and then it can start shaping popular perception, perhaps even in a different direction. A lot of the anti-Semitic propaganda that was put forward by the Nazi regime in the 1930s and during the war built on pervasive anti-Semitic stereotypical images amongst German society. Hitler also used propaganda to brainwash children. The Nazis managed to incorporate their Jewish hate into every subject in school. Children were taught a subject called race science. Race science is where individuals were organized by race. They were taught that the Germans were part of a more superior race, destined to rule all of Europe. Unlike the Jews, who were seen as nothing more than parasites, they fed off of the superior race and had to be removed like parasites. Some, out of many ways, Hitler used propaganda, the rise to power, and used it to commit horrible crimes against humanity. This shows us the power of propaganda and the dangers if it's placed in the wrong hands. I'd like to thank the book State of Deception, Power of Nazi Propaganda, the United States Holocaust Memorial Museum, World War II Museum, and Slastico for providing incredible information. Remember, we have the power to control what media we consume and which ones are right and wrong. It's up to us to figure it out. I thank you for watching the documentary and hope you learned something new today.